Today we will continue our discussion about genres in figure fantasy. The next genre is called Damage Sharing Team. This team is mainly based on Eryxia's skill effect, allowing the back row to help share the damage taken by the front row to greatly improve the front row's survivability. This is a great way to get the most out of your team's potential. Worthy noting that the link state can improve the teammates' healing and accuracy. The accuracy increase buff will amplify some special figures' hit effect greatly. For instance, Asuk's skill has a 75% chance to frost the enemy for 8 seconds. The chance will be adjusted by his accuracy bonus. So with Eryxia's skill buff, Asuk can have a higher chance to frost the enemy. The same thing for Midori, Sonata Yukimura. A tip for Eryxia, she is very useful for some special occasions. I suggest everyone have her as a backup. When you have difficulties with some chapters, you can give her a try. The next genre is Bursting Damage Team. This team will cause massive damage in the early stages of the battle and take away the enemy in a few rounds. In the case of fast-paced battles, it is more powerful, but if you can't establish a huge advantage in the early stages of the battle, the battle will drag on until the middle and late stages. The core figure of this team is Sakura, Sakura's passive skill can provide a large damage bonus in the first 20 seconds of the battle, and the figures who can perfectly enjoy the effect of Sakura's aura are those who can activate their skills during Sakura's passive skill activation. So, the bursting team is mainly to pair Sakura with some high initial energy, preferably with a strong single target damage dealer to quickly kill the enemy figures, such as Yuna, Ri, and Akaki. Heads up, you need to work on your parts to make this team really powerful. The third genre is the ultimate team. This team mainly relies on the ultimate skills for damage output. In this game, the slower a figure's energy regenerates, the more powerful the figure's ultimate skill gonna be, the main idea is to choose the figures with slow energy regeneration but powerful ultimate skills, combined with Zephyr energy regain skill effect to increase the team's ultimate skills frequency. The figures you can use include Zephyr, Wazor Y, Alfred, Crusos. Next video I will wrap up this series. Thanks for watching. Peace out.